Kathy, this is, uh, it's been like two years since you've been able to do this, right? Yeah, yeah. We, we actually, we did a small one um, in the beginning of the year, but it was mad. It was just, it was very different. Mm -hmm. This is the same, t this is the first time um, in two years where it's, you could see people's faces and, mm -hmm. and the restrictions have been taken away and it yeah. just felt more like this is what we're doing yes. here. So, yes. yeah. Um, so, uh, I'm, I'm curious about what the last two years have been like teaching, oh. teaching Jim via Zoom or whatever. Yeah, well, for, so yeah, so for this class, luckily, you know, Impact is really creative, and so a lot of the content was still the same, and though they didn't get to practice the skills in these scenarios, but we did some virtual, a lot of verbal scenarios, like the dorm room situation. We did some things around rewriting scripts, around coercion. So it's actually, I found there's some things out of being out of, you know, for two years that we're going to actually bring into these retreats that is really, really helpful. So we did the best we could. So you kind of got, had a chance to rethink it. I had to rethink it, kind of like this retreat model. This retreat model came out of a mistake. First district I was teaching in, we used to bring the instructors in like, you know, every three classes for an hour. It was a scheduling nightmare. And finally they said, we can't do this anymore. And then we said, how about a full day, kind of like a laboratory day. And this is the best thing. So the students can be here for the six hours. They don't have to think about a test they have to go to or anything. Mm -hmm. They're here focusing on themselves, and then they get to leave at the end of the day. You look so pretty. Oh, no. I actually don't want to do that. You're up. Though. No, no. I actually want to go home now. Oh, you don't got to go. Hold on, hold on. No, I think I want to leave. You don't got to go. I'm not comfortable. Give me a shot, please. Please let me leave. I'll I stop. want to go. I'll stop. You're blocking the door. Please let me leave. I'll keep my hands to myself. Will you please leave? let me leave. I want to go. Okay, can you calm down and sit down? No, You're please let me go. Calm down. You're, You're blocking the door. Please let me go. Um, the job really found me. Uh, I was a teacher and a wrestling coach, and I was just looking for something part-time. And this kind of really blended the two together, the teaching aspect and the, the physical aspect of, of coaching, too. So a great blend. So you're doing uh, Greco-Roman wrestling? Uh, I I, I'm the head coach at Beverly High School for, okay. for folk style. Cool, cool. cool. And uh, how, did that, how does that work with impact training? Uh, so... I've heard, I actually play rugby too, so the, the combination of being able to be hit from rugby and knowing how to fall from, from wrestling really work out in my favor when I'm being hit on the mat. And uh, have you worked with uh, Wellesley High School before? I have. I come here probably twice a year for the last four or five years. Okay, cool. And uh, this is a unique kind of relationship with Kathy here. Yeah, it's awesome. Uh, there's only two schools in the state that do it here in, in Lincoln Sudbury. Don't look at me, don't say me on you hear me? You do what I say and you're going to be fine, all right? Okay. Go over, get up on all fours. I was very impressed. I, the, um, the program was amazing and I... Uh, just, just the fact that these girls not only know how to handle themselves physically, but know what to do in a, in a, in a difficult situation and how to react. It was pretty incredible um, and a lot more realistic than I had expected before coming in. And, and also very tense and nerve-wracking as a parent to have to watch, but also I am just so thankful that they had the opportunity to learn some of these skills and obviously it was a very intense situation because it was very lifelike. Not, not just the, the physical ability but to know how to think on your feet and be confident that you have, you're not defenseless.
but I knew that the this my daughter was really looking forward to this day and um, being able to kind of go to this graduation because she knew how important it was. And, and my daughter would walk around the house um, thrusting her hands in her brother's eyes. And I wondered what that was from. <laughs> so I came involved because I've heard so much about this class. I used to be the mom for the ABC program. Oh, and I, we yes, we have. <laughs> and, um, and the girls would come home and talk about it all the time when my job changed and my office moved here to the high school. I was having some conversation with Ms. Brophy and she told me that there's an opportunity to that, that I could come in and just kind of do co-teaching with her. And I took the opportunity and I'm so happy I did. I also wanted to join the class to learn more about it because I really want to bring and encourage more students of color to take this class because it's important for them too. So yeah, you've actually taken the class yourself? Well taking it meaning that I've co-taught this time with yeah. Miss um, with Miss Bro with Miss Brophy. That's the next thing. I'll get her to take a class. <laughs> <laughs> well I just got picked to the class. I didn't actually sign up for the class, but I'm thankful that I was a part of the class at the end of the term or quarter. Was that you were picked? Well yeah, I was kind of thrown into the class. I wasn't <laughs> asked to be put into it. I've never heard of that before. <laughs> Um, I'd heard about it from a few friends and one of my best friend's sister, um, she took it and she really liked it so and I heard that it was a really good class so I wanted to take it. And uh, what did you what would you think it was going to be like and what did it turn out being like? Um, I had no idea it was going to be so like graphic but I think that at the end of the day that's what we need to see to like kind of really get a perspective on what could happen in the outside life. Yeah, I expected the physical stuff, but I didn't really expect to learn all that I could do with like my voice mm -hmm. and communication, which was something that was a really nice surprise. Yeah. Do you think like do you feel like this is in your body, like you yeah. would be able to use it? Definitely yeah. in our muscle memory. Yeah, definitely. And what would you say what, with somebody else that said ask you about the class? What would you tell them? Um, that you gain a voice and you end up being confident and kind of taking back what you like taking back you almost like mm -hmm. if you're getting attacked then you know the skills that you need to do to prevent that from happening yeah I would say um, no matter your gender you should definitely take it a lot of people think of it as a girls only class but it's so important for everyone to learn these skills like hopefully you don't get into a situation where you need them but if you do it's really helpful to know everything that's taught in this class mm -hmm. all right let's do our cheer here all right Power, right foot, power on three. One, two, three, power! power.